Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 10th of February for the Sun and the Ascendant. If you're new to my channel, I'd be honoured if you'd subscribe. This week begins with the power, the sheer power of that amazing full moon in Leo still pouring its energy into our situations. Now, of course, Leo is about the heart and this week is very much about Valentine's Day for a lot of people, perhaps not for others. But if that is part of your equation, the Leo full moon can certainly see us aspire to the things that bring happiness and joy into our situation. But also as this week begins, Venus is finding its way in the sign of Aries. And Venus in Aries is more acquisitive. So if there is somebody that you're drawn towards, you may find yourself wanting to take the initiative, particularly as it combines with Chiron, the comet, which is the wounded healer. So if there is a need to have some kind of extra uh, uh, intimacy or warmth in your world, even if you're in an, an existing relationship, this combination will help. Now, Mercury has entered its shadow phase before the retrograde begins uh, next Monday, Monday the 17th. So that's something we have to be aware of, that things can get slower. And of course, Mercury in Pisces is in uh, detriment anyway. But despite this, Mercury actually forges a beautiful angle to the North Node for the first half of this week, also known as the point of destiny. Now, this can be very good for us to pick up the prevailing uh, trends uh, that are going on, whether they're cultural or whether it's in terms of listening to our own instincts. And, of course, uh, we also have Uranus in the sign of Taurus, which is making us more conscious about our resources as well. But that brings us to uh, Wednesday and Valentine's Day itself, which does see the moon in the passionate sign of Scorpio. And interestingly, by Friday, there is actually a quarter moon between uh, the moon in Scorpio and the sun in Aquarius. Now, the sun in Aquarius forges a beautiful semi-sextile to both Saturn and Pluto all, all through this week. So if we can kind of work uh, at being true to ourselves that comes through the individuality of Aquarius, but also cooperating with others, uh, to achieve tangible results, Capricorn, Saturn in particular, that can be a smart thing to do. Uh, however, Jupiter and Neptune, uh, the two rulers of Pisces, are also forging an almost angelic combination this week. So if we do want to embrace a more spiritual way of being or raise our consciousness, these two can certainly be of great help. But by Sunday, Mars makes its move after a six-week journey through the uh, swashbuckling and buccaneering transit of Sagittarius into the sign of Capricorn. Mars is actually exalted in the sign of Capricorn, so this is going to be an exciting transit over the next six weeks. But for now, as this week draws to a close, I think it can make us more conscious of the more worldly uh, side of our situations. But if you are wanting to bring some enchantment to your world this week, and you are thinking about someone from your past with Chiron and Venus connecting, just be conscious that with Mercury in its pre-retrograde phase, that if you do want to revisit something, I think it probably needs to be if there has been growth on both sides, both of you see things differently from what brought the relationship to an end. So if you are looking for some kind of repair or renewal, then just bear that in mind. Your specific forecast, Sagittarius, suggests that communication is going to be king this week, but then when isn't it? And after all, Mercury, the planet of communication, is now in pre-shadow. That means it's not yet reached that retrograde, which begins next Monday, but the chances of things getting a bit muddly around your emotional life are actually a little bit higher. However, despite this, there is a stunning link between Venus and Chiron on Monday and Tuesday, which can see you open your heart to someone you really care for. The full moon of last week may also see you thinking about higher education or expanding your world in some kind of way. Will there be a resistance to that? 
It's possible Valentine's Day itself sees a very tender moon position and then on Friday a quarter moon suggests there could be a potential for things to feel so hypersensitive they get blown out of proportion. Try to resist this. But just remember, for the last six weeks, including to the end of this week, Mars, the planet of passion, has been in a buccaneering transit through your sign. But it moves on Sunday into Capricorn, where it's blessed. And the next six weeks can see you so determined to improve your financial lot. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to ascend above your zodiac sign and embrace personal astrology and understand what makes you tick beyond just where your sun's located, please see the link beneath this video where you can order your personal character analysis and also uh, your 12 month forecast and also achieve a 30% discount or you can choose to have a one-to-one -one personal consultation with me. But for now, good luck and goodbye.